In what could be one of the most significant improvements to its Wave Runner line in years, Yamaha Motor has introduced its new ride technology to its VX and FX Series personal watercraft for 2015. The dual throttle control system makes handling Yamaha's personal watercraft models more intuitive and stable. Ride also utilizes a patented bucket design that forces water out of the sides of the craft, acting as a virtual rudder that keeps the watercraft tracking in the direction the driver intended. When you look at it, you see the brand new deck, uh, which you know really resembles, and you can recognize the trend or the thread to the FX series, right? Aggressive look, uh, built-in mirror, and so forth. You just want to go and have razor sharp handling and having fun. It's still going to do that. It's the best haul that we've we've designed ever to date. Uh, we have a two-piece seat for ease of, of of use, and I'm talking about feature for you know bang for the buck. We got uh, the dry storage is standard uh, with the unit, with the seal, rubber seal in here. So this used to be only on the higher end watercraft. When you sit on it, it's just naturally your arm falls right on the handle and easy to, easy to hold on. Drink holder. And then you have, you know, in the bow, lots of storage. You got all sorts of gizmo in there now, but uh, then uh, plenty of space uh, to bring your gear for the day. And our aim was to bring something that was easy to use, that you didn't need to think about. Part of that is not only being intuitive, but also, you know, keeping the stability of the unit, where essentially you cannot make any mistake with this system. So how it works, um, the right system, it's basically you got uh, on the right hand side is forward. Um, so just as normal, you have forward, you let it go and you'll throw. But what's new with the right lever on the left hand side is you can decelerate and put it in reverse, or if you let go of the lever, you'll default in neutral. Each unit has a, a BCU, a boat control unit incorporated, and they all mapped or tuned differently depending on the weight of the unit and the power of the unit. So if you're going to decelerate really hard, it's gonna know that and it's gonna give the right amount of throttle regardless of where you're putting the lever just to make sure everything is stable and you're not being pitched. Our system actually sends the truss sideways. So you, if you look at it, you just see a regular reverse bucket at the back of our unit, no additional pieces or anything like that. And what it does by sending the water sideways, it helps with stability. And also on deceleration, because it's going sideways, there's no nose dive. So very stable and it also allows the unit, if you're turning, that it will, under deceleration, it's still going to handle and turn. No wake mode is you're just throttling and it will only come on if you're, if you're idling. So no throttle, okay, throttle is released, you press, you hold the button, you'll hear a, a sound, a beep, and then you'll feel the speed picking up. To disengage it, you either hit the button again or if you just touch the throttle, it will naturally um, stop. There's no pulling either forward or reverse, the engine is running in neutral. If you go forward, you'll have an F. If you go and it's neutral and you use the right, it goes reverse. And as soon as you let go, it comes back in neutral. With our walkthrough complete, it was time to put the VX Cruiser to the test with a quick tour of Lake Simcoe. Our 730 pound test model was powered by Yamaha's 1052 cc four-cylinder four-stroke engine. Applying the decelerator at top speed slowed the personal watercraft to a standstill in about 3.5 seconds. And a few moments later, it shifts into reverse, allowing for easy maneuverability at the dock or navigating around other close objects in the water. As Ryu described, the Wave Runner was both agile and quick, delivering a lively ride and simple operation. The water was pushed to the sides of the craft while slowing down and never nosedived regardless of the speed the decelerator was applied. Yamaha introduced the VX Series Wave Runner in 2005 and almost immediately the line became one of the company's best sellers. Currently, the VX family represents approximately 60 to 75 percent of the company's unit sales in Canada, depending on the model year. The addition of Ride has truly improved the safety of Yamaha's VX and FX series by providing a quick method of slowing the craft and enabling the driver to perform quick maneuvers. Boating Business, Jonathan Lee reporting from Lafroy, Ontario.